Okay, let's see. This is day 19, and my inspiration has come from Julie Fenfay's Car Stamp Playbook. Uh, I think I bought this about the time I took a class with her. So this design right here is basically my inspiration because I like all the triangles, but mine are going to be a, a little more precise, although I say that, and I still yet have to carve. So what I did was I took graph paper, and each one of these pink lines represents a quarter of an inch. So I made it two inches, which is eight squares by eight squares by eight squares by eight squares. And then I just did a little bit of stuff, and I colored in the part that I want carved out. Everything else will just be lines. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fast forward through it, and then I'll come back to you at the end.
Okay, I did do some prints while I was waiting for the SIM card to transfer my videos from that to the computer. So here's what my first print looked like. Let's just go this way if it's the screen better. Um, I did it when the paint was really wet, so the pickup on it was not as good as if I had waited. <laughs> well, go figure. Then I rolled out green and I stamped off trying to get some of the ink off. Well, that's not the green, but the green here, 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 these right here. And I think it's gone pretty well. Now I need, I stamped all the green, so now I need to do an underlay color or overlay, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to do the gold. I keep using the same paints because that's what I threw into my um, basket here. And I like the colors, they're fine. They may not appeal to anybody else, but I like them. Okay, and then using the back side of that paper as my roll off paper, which was a knitting pattern that I printed two copies of and I only needed one, so now the other one is now scrap fodder. Okay, so let's put this on here. See, there's the measurements for the sweater. <laughs> it's for a baby sweater. I it would be, if I knit it, it would be the only second baby sweater I've ever knit. And the first one went okay. But I didn't have a granddaughter at the time, so I donated it. Okay, there we go. Much better print, right? There we go. And let me reiterate one more time. I'm using a 5 by 7 jelly print plate. So my two by two is not gonna fit on there evenly. It doesn't matter what I do. It's not gonna fit. There'll be a gap down the middle or I'll do it in the middle and then there'll be stuff here on the side because this is only five inches and this is two. <laughs> so there we go. All right, so um, I don't usually do jelly prints much larger than an eight by 10 and I didn't want to drag out the 8x10, and the 5x7 was close at hand, so that's what I'm using. It wasn't that I only want to use, you know, I don't want things to come out even. It's just that this was handy, and this is just a demo. So, you know, I'm not worried about it. All right, so that's that. All right, so that makes day number 19. Stay tuned for day 20 in the same video, so don't shut it off. Okay, so this is going to be day 20, and I'm going to say the truth. I did not carve this today. <laughs> I found this in my scrap basket, but I liked it so much I thought I would use this for my day 20. So I'm going to roll on... Uh, no, let's do red first. No, do we do yellow? Hello, yellow first. E no, we're going to do red first. All right, so here will be the red. Oh, these lids. I have difficulty getting these lids on from all the paint buildup on the threads. But I'm not going to take care of it. I'm not going to redo it. I did clean my brayer yesterday a little bit. That booger was dirty. Even though I did roll off, it doesn't matter. It still gets dirty. So I'm going to roll off here onto this and see. It still leaves residue of the paint, so you know you still need to clean those brayers. All right, so there's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot this down so I can actually see what it is I'm doing. All right, so this is angled on one end and flat on the other. So then I'm going to take this and go like this and just reverse it so it fits. I like it. I think it will do a lot better once I let the paint dry up a little bit before stamping it, as usual. I'm very impatient. If 
thought it would have stuck a little bit better. It's not. Well, okay, so let's turn it this way. So I still have to carve for day 21 and 22 since I cheated and used this one out of my scrap bag. But I carved so many on other days. Does that count? <laughs> I feel so guilty. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Pooey. <laughs> I won't have to fast forward through this part, will I? Maybe. The stamping is going to take a while, so let me fast forward through this. Okay, so I finished the um, the red print, and there it is. You can look at it sideways, or you can look it upside down, right side up. It doesn't really matter. It looks the same either way. The thing is, is it'll make great background for me to stamp something else over it later, which... I may do, but it's nice to have paper like this. It, it is so plain, but I really think it turned out pretty well considering that this was what I consider to be a trash stamp. Where'd I put it? Boogers, <laughs> right here. <laughs> I love how I go back and look at the video and I'm searching around for stuff and it's sitting right off here in the corner. <laughs> I film my videos at between 3 and 5 a.m., so that's why. <laughs> so there's that one right there. Um, I don't know if I need to really do another, another copy of it or not, but I think this might be the one. <coughs> okay, so I had a coughing fit there for a second. Anyway, I'm not really sure if I need to do a second print of this because this is relatively basic. But I still like it. I like repetitive patterns. What can I say? Arr. Okay, so now we have to do day 21, which I have no thought about. I have no idea what to do. I know I need to get this off my table, put this back on it, and then we will start day 21. 